Okay. Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Lizzie. And today I want to kind of talk to you guys about something serious. So last night, somebody broke into my house. This has never happened to me before, so it was really, really scary. Um, I didn't know what to do, obviously, because I was just in absolute panic mode and I freaked out and I just like didn't know what to do, but... Okay, so let me just start from the very beginning. So basically what happened is I was home minding my own business, editing a video, and it was like 2 a.m. I heard like a sliding door open and I didn't really think much of it because I was like, oh, it's probably like the neighbor or something, which now that I think back was like so stupid. I should have known that obviously somebody was trying to was like in my house, I don't know. But I was just like really, really concentrated on editing the video and then Millie started barking. So I was just like, okay, something's up, like something's wrong. And she was like really barking. Like sometimes she just like barks for whatever, but she was like scared barking and I can tell. And like seconds later, I see this a man wearing a gray hoodie and black pants barging into my house, literally like coming at me. And I was like freaking out. I was like, oh my gosh, like what is, like who is this guy? Where is he coming from? Like, what is he doing here? You know? And I pick up my phone, I grab Millie. Cause I don't want to leave her. He was like, I thought he was gonna like grab her and like throw her against the wall or something. Like I didn't know what he was gonna do. He was like Shh, to the dog as if like, you know, he was like trying to not make any noise and it was just like really odd and I grabbed Millie, I ran out the front door. So he barges in, I bolt out the front door with Millie and my phone in my hand. I call Carter, I'm like freaking out. I'm like such a mess and it's just so scary. I hope that this has never happened to any of you guys, but when you're just in a panic mode like that, I feel like things just are so blurry and you don't really, know what to do so i call carter and he picks up like right away and i'm like where are you like somebody just broke into my house like this is so weird like i don't know what to do i'm just like freaking out I'm, like about to start crying i'm like don't even know what to do and as a small girl like i just feel like when a guy just bars in like that and you don't know what they're doing here like what's happening it's just like really scary because if he did decide to like attack me or whatever, I basically wouldn't have a chance. So then the door is still open. My front door is still open and I see him and he is going down to the basement, which I thought was so weird. But he like goes down to the basement. I can, I kind of noticed him like stumbling. And so I kind of knew that he was just like really, really intoxicated. And at this point, I was like talking to Carter. I was like, what do I do? And Carter actually told me that I should just like go down and like tell him to leave. Cause I told Carter like, oh, I think he's just like really drunk and maybe he like stumbled into the wrong house. Like, I don't think he's like trying to steal anything. I don't think he's trying to hurt me. But at the same time, it's just like, you don't know. Like, you don't know this guy. He's just like the, some random dude who barged into my house, which is not okay ever. And so I listen to Carter, I go downstairs and he is sitting like right here, right where I'm sitting, passed out like with his head on the table. And I'm just like, excuse me, um, like, can you please leave my house? This is my house. Like maybe you used to live here or something. And like now you don't, but you just like came back here for some reason, um, like please leave. And he didn't respond. He wasn't responsive to anything. Like he was just like passed out, like sleeping basically. And so I went back up and I was still on the phone with Carter and he was like, you need to just like be more aggressive and tell him to leave. Which now in hindsight, I'm thinking like that was probably like the worst idea. But I do think my gut feeling told me that, you know, he wasn't a threat because I did see him stumble in and he seemed very, very intoxicated. So, you know, that was good. He definitely like didn't mean any harm. Um, but after that, I went back downstairs and I tried to like wake him up. I didn't like 
like shake him or anything but i was just like hello hello like and then i like knocked on the table that he was like, on and i was like excuse me like can you please leave if you don't leave i'm gonna call the cops on you and he was just like call the cops like call the cops and i was like uh okay uh and then i went upstairs and called the cops and i think he heard me calling the cops like i have never dialed 911 in my entire life until yesterday like that's the first time i've ever dialed 911 and it was kind of surreal because you know everybody's always like oh yeah if you're in trouble like call 911 and stuff like that but i never really like had to so having to do it was kind of like crazy they're like 911 what's your emergency? your emergency blah 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 like doing their protocol stuff i told them my address i told them you know like my name i told them the whole situation and the lady on the phone was, was like what did he look like do you have any idea and i was like i don't know like i could go back down and like take a picture of him or something and she's like no like don't go back down there like it's not safe um so i didn't go back down because i kind of wish i took a picture but at the same time you know like obviously i'm gonna listen to the lady on the phone because she's probably dealt with this stuff before and so she's like, we're gonna send out um, the police, they're on their way, so just, you know, like, sit tight, um, don't go back downstairs. So then I'm like on the phone with her and I hear a door shut, which is the door in the basement, which leads out to the garage. And I'm like, okay, maybe he left. So I tell the lady, uh, I think I heard him leave. And she was like, okay, well, no worries. Like, they're still like gonna come, obviously. I was like, okay, thank you, bye. And three minutes later, the police get here. And they ask me, like, what happened? Also, Carter came over because I didn't feel safe and yada, yada, yada. And I show them the camera footage because I was like, oh, like, maybe I can check my security footage and, like, check to see if I got him on camera. And I did but he's wearing a hood, so you can't really see his face. But here is the footage. You can clearly see he's like stumbling and he tries to go through the front, but like doesn't even like touch the door at all. He just looks at it and then kind of turns away and then ends up going around to the back and comes through the sliding doors. So I show the police, I tell them everything. I tell them my information, I tell them everything that happened, all the details, and they do like a whole search of the entire like complex area and they go into the garage, check out the garage area. And then I think they got like another call, maybe that was more urgent. And so they just kind of left. But yeah, I don't really know how it exactly ended. Like, I don't know if they caught the guy. I don't know if they had to like, go to another call. Like, I don't know what, what happened. Nobody really told me. They kind of just like ran to their police cars and like just totally left without telling me anything. I kind of wish they would have just said like, oh, he's not here or whatever, but they just left. And I was like, thanks for coming. It was just really, really scary and shocking to me because that has never happened to me before. And I just kind of wanted to make this video to let you guys know that these things do happen and I wasn't prepared for it, but I think it's important for you guys to know the precautionary measures in case it ever does happen to anyone out there. Definitely just be preventative by locking all your doors, locking all your windows, you know, like when you're home and also like before you go to bed and stuff. And second, if somebody does make it through and breaks it into your home, then look for a safe place where you can hide out and lock yourself away from the burglar or the intruder. Um, if possible, try to escape. That's definitely one of the top things you should do so you can get out of any dangerous situation. Another thing I read online is grab your car keys and try to get to your car and then like sound your alarm so that it scares them away and they just leave on their own. I think it depends on the certain situation and like the layout and just like how it's specific it is to your situation but you know like definitely have a plan definitely try to stay as calm as possible and of course another thing you should for sure do is call 911 immediately as soon as you can get your hands on your phone or if you have like a home security thing that you can like press a button that's even better like I just moved here so 
I don't have that set up, but obviously I should go get that set up like now. But yeah, I just wanted to share my story with you guys because it was just like really, really crazy and alarming. For me as like a small 5'2 girl, it's definitely a lot scarier when a male just barges in without saying anything and just like with his hood up and just being sketchy and stuff. So it was definitely a really, really scary experience for me. I just hope it doesn't happen to any of you guys out there. And if it ever does, um, be prepared and do your research. I'm glad that I did my research. I do wish I knew how to deal with this better, but I do have this information in the future if it ever happens again. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I know this is kind of like a different video, but I just want to keep you guys in the loop and everything that happens and everything that I do. And also I think it's very informative that you guys know these things or research these things and hopefully they teach these things to you in school because it's very important. All right, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow.